For a girl named India Stalker, solitude with nature gives meaning to life. It's in these moments that India can listen to herself and understand who she truly is. It was India's birthday when her father Richard passed away. Soon after, the funeral took place. Evelyn Stoker, the grieving widow, couldn't hold back her tears. Everyone mourned Richard, an exceptional architect who was involved in an accident. At some point, India noticed a person watching the funeral from a distance. Later, India was playing the piano alone when suddenly the mother called her, asking for help in the kitchen. The girl didn't want to do anything but her mother insisted. Later in the kitchen, India overheard the housemaids discussing the accident. Some believed it wasn't an accident at all. Nobody knew why Richard was two states away from here. Mrs. McGarrick, in charge of the house, stopped the kitchen workers' gossip and tried to distract India with conversation. At one point, India noticed a bouquet of flowers on the table with a yellow ribbon. The same ribbon was on a gift she had found in the garden earlier. Inside the box was a key. India was curious about what her father intended to open with that key. Mrs. McGarrick had no answers to that question. A wake was being held at the house. Evelyn introduced her daughter to Uncle Charlie. He had been the one observing the funeral. Charlie was Richard's younger brother. India didn't say a word. Evelyn mentioned that being India's mother was a punishment. Unable to bear it, India left for her room. On each birthday, she received a new pair of shoes as a gift. All these years, India believed they were gifts from her father, but now she doubted it. Meanwhile, Evelyn showed Charlie the collection of stuffed animals. Richard and their daughter used to hunt together and were a great team. Many were outraged by the fact that Charlie wasn't dressed in black. Some, including India, had no idea that Richard had a brother all these years. Throughout the evening, Charlie never took his eyes off India, making her nervous. When she left the guests again, Charlie followed, but Evelyn intercepted him. However after some time, Charlie approached India and the house. Until today, she had no idea her uncle existed. She noted that he looked very much like her father. Charlie said that Evelyn had allowed him to stay in their home for a while. It was important to him that India was okay with it. The next morning, India watched from the window as Charlie worked in their garden. He noticed India too, and said they had a very nice plot. Later while walking in the park near the house, India overheard an argument between Charlie and Mrs. McGarrick. It turns out that all these years, Mrs. McGarrick had been keeping Charlie informed about everything happening in the house. But now she was tired of the lies and didn't want to continue. Evelyn woke up late and suggested that her daughter go shopping together today to distract themselves. But India responded with sarcasm. In the end she stayed home while Evelyn left with Charlie. India couldn't come to terms with the loss of her father, who had been the closest person to her. Taking advantage of her mother and uncle's absence, India went into Charlie's room and rummaged through his things. She didn't know they were returning already. At some point, India found a gift box with a yellow ribbon among Charlie's things. She was interrupted by the voice of her mother, who was on the first floor. Evelyn and Charlie were drinking wine and chatting amiably. Mrs. McGarrick was still absent, and Evelyn couldn't cook. Charlie volunteered to do it himself. India disliked Charlie's presence in the house, and she didn't hide it. She had a feeling that something was off about him. Perhaps Charlie wasn't who he claimed to be. During dinner, India felt tension. Evelyn on the other hand was thrilled with Charlie's culinary skills and was actively flirting with him. It seemed that Charlie was reciprocating her advances. India didn't realize she had eaten the entire meal, which Charlie took as a compliment. This of course did not please India. She asked the mother why she had never told her about the uncle before. Evelyn claimed that she herself knew very little about him. When Evelyn took the empty plates to the kitchen, Charlie offered India some wine. She accepted the glass, finding herself in a detached state. Afterward, India directly asked the uncle what he wanted from her. Charlie said he only wanted to be her friend. India attends a prestigious school. The classmates consider her strange and often tease her, but India pays no attention to it. She didn't expect the uncle to want to pick her up from school. Nevertheless, she took the bus, not wanting to cross paths with him. Charlie's cars followed the school bus. India was confused. Her classmates, seeing the handsome man in the expensive car, couldn't take their eyes off the windows. Charlie continued to follow India all the way home. She wanted to share this with her mother, but Evelyn was sleeping. The next day, Charlie did not stop his pursuit attempts and advised India to take an umbrella. She ignored him. It indeed rained heavily that day. After school, India found her mother teaching Charlie to play the piano. It seemed more like flirting. Evelyn and Charlie spent more and more time together, but India tries to stay away. One day the doorbell rang. Gwendolyn, a relative of the stalkers, stood on the doorstep. The woman joined them for dinner. To Evelyn's disappointment, Gwendolyn intended to stay longer at their house. Upon hearing that Charlie had supposedly been traveling through Europe all these years, Gwendolyn was surprised. She knew it was a lie. At that moment, Charlie left the table. Taking advantage of this, 
Gwendolyn told Evelyn that they needed to talk privately. Gwendolyn found Charlie's presence in their home strange and inappropriate, but Evelyn thought her suspicions are ridiculous. Their conversation was interrupted by Charlie, who brought tea. In the end Gwendolyn decided not to stay at their home and checked into a hotel. However, the woman was very worried about India, so she discreetly handed her a piece of paper with her phone number. Since Charlie had found out where she was staying, Gwendolyn decided to go to another motel. The conditions were terrible, but that didn't matter now. Soon Gwendolyn realized she had lost her cell phone. Meanwhile, Evelyn applied makeup, grabbed a bottle of wine and went to Charlie's room. At that moment Gwendolyn, who had left the motel and was using a payphone, noticed Charlie approaching. Evelyn found a gift box with a yellow ribbon among Charlie's belongings, while he returned Gwendolyn's phone, which she had dropped in the house. Charlie had to contact a taxi dispatcher to find out where Gwendolyn was staying. She realized that this was the end for her. At the same moment India, who had gone down to get ice cream, opened the freezer and found Mrs. McGarrick lifeless. The next day at school, India saw Charlie waiting for her again from the window. She exited through a back entrance, but the classmates blocked her path and wouldn't let her go. The ringleader of the bullies mocked India for her mother living with the late husband's brother. India was outraged to the core. She had no idea that Charlie had been watching her all this time. The main bully didn't expect India to hit him. He wanted to retaliate, but his friends held him back and led him away. One of the guys, Whip, stood up for India, saying he was sorry. However, the girl just walked away. Now India knows that the freezer in their home holds a dreadful secret. There's no doubt that Charlie is the one who took Mrs. McGarrick's life. India hasn't told anyone about what she saw. One day while she was playing the piano, Charlie joined her. It turns out he can play after all. India didn't object. They played four hands. It was a very exciting moment for India. At some point, Charlie was no longer by her side. He seemed to have simply vanished. During the night, India had disturbing dreams. She woke up to the sound of music coming from downstairs and went down, hearing voices. India saw her mother and Charlie dancing and flirting in the kitchen. Then they kissed, unaware that India was watching from the window. What she witnessed made India flee. She found the same guy who had stood up for her, Whip Taylor. He suggested going to a bar, but she declined. The young people went for a walk. Whip wondered why an excellent student like India was in a parking lot near a bar in the middle of the night. India hinted to Whip that he didn't know much about her. Whip thought it was a call to action. But Charlie interrupted him, approaching from behind and attacking him. Afterward, Charlie drove India home. Looking at her reflection in the mirror, she didn't recognize herself. Yet, she couldn't stop thinking about Charlie. He had taken Whip's life, and together they had disposed of the evidence. India was so frightened that she discreetly called Gwendolyn, who of course couldn't pick up the phone. At home after calming down, India went to the mother's room and offered to comb her hair. Evelyn noticed that India was wearing a nightgown she had bought for her a long time ago. Evelyn felt sorry that she didn't spend much time with her daughter. In the past, India would often go hunting with her father. Sometimes Evelyn felt superfluous. Suddenly India told the mother that she had seen her and Charlie in the kitchen today. Evelyn said it wasn't what it seemed. She also wondered how her daughter could sneak up so quietly. India mentioned that the father had taught her that skill. During hunts, they could wait for hours before catching their prey. Those moments were when India felt like herself. Hunting gave her a sense of freedom. Richard always told his daughter that sometimes you have to do a bad thing to avoid doing something even worse later on. At that moment, Evelyn stopped her daughter, not wanting her to continue combing the hair. Tension filled the room. The next morning, India went to her father's office room. She had a parting gift from him, the very same key. India managed to unlock one of the drawers and found old family photos inside. In their youth, Richard, Charlie and someone named Jonathan were captured in those photos. India also found a large number of unopened letters addressed to her. India closed the window and read the letters. It turned out that over the years, the uncle had sent her hundreds of letters. He traveled the world and regretted not being able to be near his niece. Charlie congratulated India on every holiday but never received a reply. Reading this, the girl couldn't hold back her tears. However, India didn't immediately notice that all these letters had been sent from a psychiatric hospital. This discovery shocked her. Charlie was not traveling the world, but was in a mental hospital. India immediately called the police. But Charlie, who was working in the garden, saw her through the window and hinted that it was better not to do anything stupid. In the end India didn't say anything. When Charlie entered the house, he noticed a bag with his things on the stairs. India wanted him to leave. She also wanted to know who Jonathan was and what had happened to him. Charlie explained that Jonathan was their youngest brother. Richard gave all his attention to him, making Charlie, the middle brother, jealous. One day when Richard was working in the garden, Charlie orchestrated an accident. That's how Jonathan was gone. Charlie has always had mental health problems. 
the older brother decided to place him in a psychiatric institution, where he spent 20 years. Seeing Charlie again after all this time, Richard had mixed feelings. As Charlie had no one else, Richard took him out of there. He bought his younger brother an apartment in New York, gave him money and handed him the car keys. Charlie cried, asking his older brother why he was abandoning him. All these years Charlie had wanted so badly to get to know India. Richard couldn't risk his family, so he asked Charlie never to appear in their lives again. Charlie is overcome with jealousy again. Richard considered his family to be Evelyn and in India, not him. It was just like it had been 20 years ago. It's happening again now. In a fit of emotions, Charlie took Richard's life to take his place in the family. His demise was no accident. Hearing the truth, India was shocked. She realized that Charlie had deliberately chosen to return on her 18th birthday. And now he had no intention of backing down. Finally, Charlie gave India a gift. It was a pair of beautiful shoes. Suddenly there was a knock at the door. The local sheriff asked India what she had been doing on the night of Whip's disappearance. India told the sheriff the story she and Charlie had made up beforehand. That night, India and Whip allegedly went for a walk and then parted ways. However, her story didn't seem convincing to the sheriff. India began to contradict herself, so Charlie intervened. He was charismatic and knew how to charm people. But it wasn't all that troubled the sheriff. He asked if their housekeeper had made herself known since her unexpected departure. India lied that she knew nothing about it. Realizing that the police officer would return, Charlie suggested to India that they run away to New York together. Suddenly they were caught by Evelyn, who couldn't believe they had a relationship. That same night, Evelyn got rid of all her husband's belongings. She still couldn't get her head around the fact that India and Charlie were together. Evelyn now felt nothing but resentment and hatred. But it seemed that the mother's words didn't affect India. In helplessness, Evelyn asked the daughter why she didn't love her, even though she should have. Charlie was also present during this conversation. Telling India to pack her things, Charlie went upstairs to speak with Evelyn, as she had requested. Finally, they could have an honest conversation. Evelyn began to suspect that Charlie was hiding something. Richard would never have left home on their daughter's birthday which meant someone had called him. The sudden disappearance of Gwendolyn and Mrs. McGarrick also made her think that something was amiss. Unexpectedly Charlie suggested to Evelyn that they run away together, leaving India in the house. However, it was just a ploy. Having put Evelyn's guard down, Charlie attacked her and called for India. But he never expected that India would have a gun with her. She had planned to seek revenge on her uncle for her father. During the night, India got rid of all the evidence, and by morning she left. When Evelyn woke up, her daughter was no longer in the house. However, India was stopped by the sheriff for speeding. At first India behaved deliberately kindly, but then she gave the policeman an injury incompatible with life. From now on, India goes on the hunt. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel not to miss more exciting new products. Also the authors will be pleased if you leave your opinion in the comments.